We're back now with something to think about before you hop behind the wheel this morning of your car. The latest issue of Forbes magazine is calling attention to what could be the auto industry's next major problem, carjacking gone digital. Buckle up, you're going to need it. <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> it's quite terrifying when you don't have brakes, right? <laughs> this isn't carjacking, it's car hacking. I told the car it was in reverse and it was trying to park itself. Oh. And therefore, it Forbes magazine's Andy Greenberg went out for a unique test drive with Chris Velasic and Charlie Miller, two tech geniuses who, after a few clicks and computer cords, became the ultimate backseat drivers. You guys both buckled up? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can uh, forge that, the, that you're about to be in a wreck. <laughs> By wiring into a car's dozens of built-in computers, they can reprogram the gas gauge, the speedometer. I can tell you you're going 199 miles per hour now, even though that's very apparently not the case. <laughs> even hacking the car to run and steer with an old-school Nintendo controller. But this is no game. The test highlights potential risks for the world of diesel going digital. This is a story about the future, and the direction that cars are going is that they're becoming more vulnerable. Toyota, whose Prius was the main car used in the demos, noted in a statement that the type of hacking shown, quote, requires a physical presence inside the vehicle, partial disassembly of the instrument panel, as well as hardwired connection, all of which would be obvious. I think that we'd like to see Detroit welcome hackers in to test their products and expose vulnerabilities that they couldn't find themselves. Tests that in the near future could take on a whole new feel. Can you make it go left now? <laughs> and those two hackers are with us now. Charlie Miller is a Twitter security engineer, and Chris Valisic is the director of security for IO Active. And they brought with them one of their test vehicles, a Ford Escape, to show the potential vulnerabilities that cars can pose if hack guys. Good morning. First of all, you're both security uh, computer guys. What made you want to check into the vulnerability of a car? So. I always did Windows hacking stuff, and Dr. Miller here always did uh, OS X and iPhone hacking. And we decided we want to do something new, and uh, we both like cars, so we figure, why not automobiles? Some people might call it a nice party trick, and one of them could be the Ford Motor Company, who we reached out to, who have a statement. They say, quote, this particular attack was not performed remotely over the air, but is a highly aggressive, direct physical manipulation of one vehicle, which would not be a risk to customers, end quote. So, is there a real threat or no? Oh, for sure. So a couple years ago, researchers showed that you could remotely attack cars. And so we were just following up that research to show what could you do once you were in the car. So we already know that you can attack cars remotely. It's just uh, the question is... That yeah, we want to see the extent of what you can do once you're inside the car's network. I want to get inside the car and see the extent of it. So I'm going to jump right, in let's do this. this car as a driver and sort of let's mock up what you are capable of doing. All right, buckle All right, up. Seat belts, just in case. Yeah. Let's just pretend I'm going to take a spin down the plaza here. Okay. The car's on. We're not moving. I'm re we're not moving. I'm ready to go. Yeah. So the first thing that we can do is uh, trick the odometer and uh, speedometer into saying you're going whatever speed. Wow. There you, want. you go. Yeah. It went to uh, 100 miles an hour. We're obviously not going 100 miles an hour, right? Right. Um, so that's one of the other nifty tricks. So if you take your hands off the wheel right now. Um, Charlie actually will be able to wow, turn the wheel. Wow, that's insane. Uh, and if you saw in the video, we can do that while the Prius is driving as well. What is Charlie tapping into? Is there an operating system that's common on all cars? No, it's very proprietary to each make and model of car. So it's a lot of work for an indiv individual manufacturer and the individual model. So uh, We mentioned, I mean, we're, you're sort of hardwired into this particular yeah, car. But you don't have to be. Is this possible to be done remotely? Yeah, research has shown that you can get a remote vulnerability exploited and get on the car's network. And once you're on the car's network, it's just like being jacked in. I'm glad you guys are on our side. Yeah. All right, what else can it do? And the last thing we can do uh, is actually completely immobilize the car. Um, we can kill the engine. Wow, just And if off. you can try to start the car again... No, it won't start. It's like a so we can switch. we can do that for as long as we want. Could you turn the engine off while I was driving? Yeah, we've uh, proved that you can turn the car's engine off while it's. What did you guys do with this data once you started figuring out what cars were possible? So we wanted to collect all the data and put it in a big white paper for people to look at. We right. want security researchers doing this. We want more of us to look at these things. Right. Uh, because the more eyes you have on it, you know, I think the more secure it can be. Job well done. Thanks, Thanks glad you're on our side. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Thanks Charlie. Charlie.